On August 29, 1526, at the Battle of Mohaj, the forces of the Ottoman Empire, led by Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent, annihilated the Hungarian army. This major defeat was followed in 1541 by the fall of the city of Buda, which led to the division of Hungary into three parts. The western part was placed under the rule of the Habsburgs, the eastern part became an Ottoman province, while Transylvania remained an independent principality for the next century and a half. In the beginning of the 17th century, Transylvania was ruled by Prince Stephen Bochkoi. He was born right here in the city of Cluj, in this very house, on the first day of the year 1557. He subsequently completed his education at the imperial courts in uh, Vienna and Prague. He returned to Transylvania in 1581 after the death of Prince Christopher Bathory uh, as the teacher and advisor of the new minor prince Sigismund Bathory, his nephew. Stephen Bochkoi was one of the main promoters of the anti-Ottoman struggle and actively advocated the joining of Transylvania to the Holy League, which was an alliance of Christian states initiated in 1571 by Pope Pius V and intended to break the Ottoman Empire's control of the Eastern Mediterranean Sea. In 1604, he became the great leader of an anti-Habsburg insurrection which resulted in the elimination of the imperial influence over Transylvania and the conclusion of the Peace of Zidvatorok, which put an end to the 15 years' war between the Ottoman Empire and the Habsburg monarchy. In November 1604, Stephen Bochkoi was appointed Prince of Transylvania by the Sublime Port, the high institution he opposed so fiercely just a decade earlier. In February of the next year, his appointment was confirmed by the Diet, the assembly meeting in Mercura Nirajului, and on September 14, by the vote of all the privileged classes of the province, reunited in the Diet of Mediash. The same year, in November, the Turks offered Prince Bochkoi in a lavish ceremony the crown of King of Hungary, but Bochkoi received it in custody, refusing to be crowned. Stephen Bochkoi was a great personality who met all the qualities of a great statesman. He was a skilled politician, a gifted diplomat, and a very good military commander. He was also one of the greatest Calvinist princes of 17th century Transylvania. Prince Stephen Bochkoi's cup is a truncated, cone-shaped, gilded silver cup with a domed sole, domed lid, an S-shaped handle, and a palmet-shaped hinge combined with volutes. The lid is decorated with a round boss representation of the coat of arms of the prince, a lion sitting on big rocks, with his snout wide open, holding an arrow in his right paw. The central register of the cup, decorated by granulation, depicts the engraved coat of arms of the prince, framed by an oval laurel wreath and the inscription Stephanus Bochkoi, de Kish Maria Princeps Transylvanie. The same coat of arm appears on the lower part of the handle on a Renaissance-like shield. The inscriptions engraved on the lid tell us the history of the cup, which was probably sold during the 19th century, ending up on the antiques market. On July 26, 1859 in Cluj, it was offered as a horse race prize to Baron Ishvan Veseleni. The cup was donated by Baron Stephen Veseleni to the Transylvanian Museum Society the forerunner of the National Museum of Transylvanian History. Prince Stephen Bochkai's cup was made in the first decades of the 17th century in an unidentified foreign workshop.